confident in this team and what they can do. And he's got some weapons to work with. They're going to throw on first down and a quick completion across the middle. Throws and, and try to wear down that defensive line with tempo. Unbelievable talent on that D-line. How about the jump ball and knocked away? He had that ball caught. A new weapon. He didn't play much of a role for Indiana. Lego, who threw 17 interceptions last year, trying to cut down on those mistakes. Another one of those jump balls. It is caught. It's a catch. -a Bob's going up to battle for that football and take it away from Sheffield. He is a big... And I said, who separates themselves? He's a Cobbs can win the one-on-one -on -one battle. That was a pretty good example of that. That's another one-on-one -on -one battle. ...together, so that tells you they work a lot on their routes. Well, they go. Maybe a busted play keeps it. And... Second down, the Jet will get the carry, nowhere to go. It's going to be Richard Lego's arm and these receivers' ability to win in one-on-one. -on -one. Man, very quick snap on third down, another third down. Him off the field and get Damon Arnett back into the lineup. Uh, play fake, Lego on the move, will throw short. And well, they are just spreading it out and throwing it around right now. And they are really going fast. Lego toward the end zone, it is... Has to be very pleased with his start of his quarterback. Yeah, new coordinators on the offense on both sides. The run game, on the other hand, so far. Well, Ian Thomas can catch. He just got beat bad by Draymond Jones. That's not a good matchup for Indiana. That quick complete. is the strength of their offense, the receivers. Well, they converted three third downs on that first drive. Pressure comes. Lego's going to dump it short at his drive. Four defensive ends in the game. They show blitz, and then they drop out. Linebackers drop out. Look how he the, the pocket collapses on top of Richard Lego, even by the check. See? Yeah, can't wait. With college game day on Saturday squeezed in as well. Lego over the top. It hits the helmet of the Buckeyes defensive back. The eyes and then getting his hand back to be able to knock that ball away. Yeah, he looked like a DB. Now this time the pass perfectly thrown. 28-yard completion. Lego looks good, doesn't he? Boy, he does. In the pocket this time. Pressured, spinning, going down. First year becoming a starter. Well, that, again, I don't think was exactly what Indiana was. And to this team, you can kind of see and feel his mojo from up here. Third and 12, that throw, and it's knocked away incomplete. Nice play. Trying to improve. Oh, by the way, we thought maybe we might see Peyton Ramsey, who takes his first. His son is a warrior, tough kid, is a dual threat. They really like him. Another fake. Again, keeps it straight ahead. A plus one with the quarterbacks running the ball. This will be interesting. Do they have faith in him to throw the ball? It's tipped and caught anyway. What a great effort. Ryan Watercutter, the second. Tops in the flat. They're going to pitch it. Left side run and a pretty short game here on this drive. Yeah, they were committed to using him. He's going to roll out again. And he's going to run against that Ohio State <laughs> So young Peyton Ramsey, the first series of his college career on third down, will throw incomplete. I told Kirk there, as a football coach, when you die, you hope leave pieces of you. He had a nice uh, afternoon lunch yeah. and visit with yeah. uh, those 90 or 100 guys that came back to see you. Now, there are a lot of your... When we did that, Indiana had never... 25 years been ahead of Woody Hayes. Yeah. They wouldn't be ahead of him. You know, not too good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you timed it perfect. By the way, there was a flag on the Buckeyes, and here come your who lost so many players to the NFL They're in that only, secondary. And if, if they, they don't get in, I'd be throws the ball. There's no question about it. Now, and I like the fact that he's throwing the ball to the wideout. See that? He's throwing the ball. One. Move the ball on the ground. On fourth and one, it's a pass. And it's a first down. Why not? Go back who was covering the slot receiver. Oh, big darn. Well, they're going for it tonight, aren't they? There's Cobbs incomplete. And, and last time I this drive. And the Hoosiers are inside the 15-yard line. Already leading 7-3. to three. Coach Corso is with us. Just honored a few. Three first-rounders. A third and five. A little pump fake. And that one tipped and intercepted. Off the tip ball, down the sideline, out of bounds at the 40-yard line. And snuffed out the drive right as they were in the red zone. Lego, play fake. And I uh, know he gave the ball. Well, they like him a lot. His first play of his college career. They're going in that direction, but instead of the wide receiver, that's a wrist or a hand issue or what. But he's on the sideline for third and nine with time. Lego, that one was tipped, I think, but it's completed anyway. And receiver that time, Timmy, and that's a touchdown. Well, instead, just the big pass run of the night. 
Well, you can see they, they put trips into the boundary. Watch this receiver creating some confusion, getting behind Ohio State. Boy, if he saw him, he walks to the yeah. area. Tough matchup with his size, 6'4". And that quick tempo continues, Kirk, that you said might be the fast tempo here that Richard Lego feels comfortable with. Play fake. That one-on-one -on -one matchup, oh. and I think it's another one-handed grab. Has to defend Cobbs in these one-on-one -on -one matchups. And it is a true freshman Columbus kid in the backfield. That was a pretty good cut by me. Yeah, they're going to go fast. Look at this pressure. Ohio State decided to try to challenge Lego. Catch him off guard. They bring the blitz, but again, gets the ball out of his hands quickly. Gives his receiver, Hale, a chance to make a play up high. He just looks so poised right now. That quick hitter out to the left sideline. And cutting to try to help them in these one-on-one -on -one matchups. Well, one of the great defensive minds, that's for sure. That's another completion over the middle, and it's that guy. Say, okay, we're going to go to the inside and try to win that matchup. On the move again, the Hoosiers. They're going over the top again, incomplete. And these receivers, we still got four minutes to go in the first half, over 260 yards passing, and this makes the play. Had five sacks last year. That's number one this year on third and long. They'll hit Cobbs, and Cobbs trying to fight and making for Tom Allen. Remember, Indiana does get the ball to start the second half, but they're going to throw. And go after one of those matchups again. Here comes the penalty flag. I think that gives Indiana a little breathing room out to the 30. With still plenty of time on the clock. Lego, a little pump fake, and now he's going down. He did not get rid of the ball. On second down, Lego is not going that way, though. He's going back to the right side for the completion to Hale, who slips the tackle, and that's big. because He's staying off. It's a one-on-one -on -one battle. He trusts his receivers to win those battles. Pressured again, and he will throw a dangerous throw. I think that's caught. It was. Yeah. Lego in the pocket. And that pass caught short. Now there's another one where he had too high safety look for Ohio State. All right, so we'll see a handoff on first down. Vertical passing game. Indiana's got to have an answer, and they got to start to work to the inside. They go trying to get to the hurt in the first game last year for Ohio State. Missed the rest of the year. Talented player. Third down. Pass rush coming, but Lego steps up. That one through behind his. They don't convert. Hoosiers get the ball back. First and ten. Indiana and a quick completion. Twenty to fourteen. Still trailing. Big hit after the quick complete. Third and eight for the Hoosiers. Lego in the pocket. Will throw, and he threw another one kind of behind the taste of our homers broadcast on both sides. Part of our mega cast production here tonight. Now, uh, look, my But the one thing he didn't talk about is the reason Ohio State's defense has been able to make plays here in the second half. Wow. That was a dangerous play. Lego, and I don't think they've blown the play dead. They've let it go. He thought it was an incompletion. Instead, rumbling toward the end zone. I thought he was attempting to throw the football. I thought so. I, I was surprised that they didn't uh, blow the whistle and call that an incompletion. The ball looked like it came out and went forward when it came out of his hands. Well, initially I thought for sure it was, but then th there was no whistle. The play was not blown dead. An important pass for Indiana. Points come off the board. It's a six-point game. Cobbs, they're going toward Cobbs. Complete first down. Yeah. You saw it. Yeah, it, well, guys couldn't deal with them. Ohio State's adjustments has been to put safeties over the top to try to help them out. Well, second down, Indiana in Ohio State territory. Wide open, Cobbs across the middle. And he's knocking defenders. Now they get Cobbs into the middle that's been vacated by the linebackers. Quick tempo. And another. Second and four, Indiana trying to answer. They go. That one's caught. That time by Mike DeBoard. Great pass, first and goal, Majette fighting. One against uh, Sheffield. Jump ball coming, we'll see. Lego instead toward the tight end, touchdown! His second of the night. They've had pretty good responses all night. Pressure and incomplete. And they got to him, watch the snap. That right there gets him a little bit out of rhythm. Then he's got to deal with Trent. And Ohio State front gets to him again. Second and ten. Pressure. Lego. Enzel Ward. Third and ten. And they're handed the ball off. Trying to take Ohio State by surprise. And they were not. How about Jerome? So far. I I'm with you. When you look at the names, you think maybe lopsided. This was no pushover game. And it still isn't. We still no. got a ways to go. Oh, yeah. Don't sleep on Richard Lego and these receivers. Lego. Pressured. Incomplete. And he looked uncomfortable in that pocket. 
He took that hit on the near interception. Nowhere. Quan McMillan. Here he is right here. Third and short. If they show run, he's going to shoot this gap. And it's a great job. He's still kind of feeling his way through. Nobody gets to the second level to take him out. And that is a lot of fun. I, I'm excited to see LSU. We've talked about the new coordinators in this game. They, they didn't look great last week, but sometimes that can, that can lull their next opponent to sleep. Yeah, they do have the advantage. They have played a game. That is an advantage to get JT Barrett and the offense off the field. Now their offense has to get it going again, and with plays like that, it's going to be tough. Ball came. A lot about JT Barrett, but I, I said at the beginning of the second half, I expect him to try to take control of the line of scrimmage and run Dobbins. That opens up the passing game for Ohio State. It did big time. Cobbs did not get the first down, or did he? No. Stop. Three yards rushing in the second half. It's not a ton, yeah. but, I, but I thought they went back and they were a little bit more effective with quarterback run. Well, third down and very short here. Indiana's just not been able to run the ball at all. So they'll throw it to the tight end, Ian Thomas, who in some ways has been the breakout star of the night for the night with two touchdowns. Lego on the move, back across the middle. Kind of a dangerous throw, but he got it there with that. And they've been in that position before, and they, this year it's going to be different. It's going to be our breakthrough moment. You know, we play because of the offensive firepower that they have with Lego and company. I think they're going to win a bunch of games. Lego batted. Good throw by Lego. In the pocket again. That one is intercepted. What a play on the ball. That should count as an inter Indiana football program, but too much Ohio State in the second half. A powerful performance by the